Hi, Nick from Patchworks here, and today I'm very excited to talk about a new After Later audio module called Carve. Uh, why am I so excited about Carve? Well, it actually is a quad envelope generator with VCAs. Um, there's a modular meme saying that you can't have enough VCAs, but when you think about VCAs, you also think about envelope generators. So oftentimes I find myself kind of in this kind of dance in my case. Every time I have a lot of VCAs, I want more modulation sources, but when you have both of them coupled up like this, it's great. So I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of this module because it looks a bit busy on the panel, but it's actually very straightforward. You can see that we essentially can think of this as four different channels, and each channel has a two-stage envelope generator, a tech, release. We have shape control that goes from linear to logarithmic to exponential allowing us to get really snappy uh, envelopes or very, very long envelopes. And then we have this output attenuverter, which is great, because sometimes when we are using our modulation sources, it comes out pretty hot and we don't have attenuators on our inputs that we're trying to modulate and we lose subtlety. So to have that on our uh, envelope generator is always very helpful. Um, but then we also have some differences between the channels. Two and three are gonna be identical, but one and four are a bit different. Channels one, if I flip this switch up to five volts, we are given a five volt static voltage, which is great for generating DC offsets. Um, kind of using, I like to use kind of DC and static offsets to uh, kind of route everything through uh, one module to have macro control. So I'm not reaching over there or reaching over here, but it also can turn your bipolar signals into unipolar signals. Uh, channel four goes up to 10 volts and we can use our output to attenuate that uh, signal that's coming out. If I flip it down, it starts looping like an LFO. So we have a looping envelope generator. Again, our shape control, if I go up, that's going fast because it's exponential. It might be, actually it might be the opposite there. Um, but the shape control does change the, the length of time because of that response. At middle, if I give it an input, and this is set to trig, then it triggers your envelope generator. If I have it set down to in, this will slew your input. So it'll take things like random step voltages and make them smooth or even filter sounds, which is cool because one feature of this is that if you have four of these, you essentially have a full synth voice. You could have one running at audio rate for your oscillator. You could have one slew for your filter. And you could have one act as a VCA for your... Uh, for actually gating the sound. So it's incredibly cool. And then you can have an extra uh, envelope for sort of whatever, if you want to FM, if you want to play around with the filter. So it is a self-contained synth voice, which is very cool. And, but one of the things I really want to talk about today is how I would use this to introduce um, interesting timbres through like frequency modulation, both in the filter, uh, Filthy and Dixie. So I'm just going to set up a very basic patch here. I'm gonna take my Dixie, I'm gonna plug it into our VCA here. And so that VCA here goes into the VCA of that particular channel strip. Um, and then the VCA out is the resultant um, signal after the envelope generator is applied. So I'm gonna take the VCA out, run into my filter, and then I'm going to take my filter out, low pass to our output and we won't get any sounds right now, and that is because my envelope generator isn't triggering. And those trigger my envelope generator. So uh, I'll switch my one and four to trigger. I will take this uh, SQ1, which is array generating gates. It's also clocking the temps tile, which we'll use a bit later. And if I run the gate into my in, we will start hearing the signal. And so that's very, very easy, very simple. Instead of having a envelope generator run to a uh, VCA, it's all in one, and we still have three, which we could use for modulation, for more sort of this, uh, if we wanted to stack more voices in there. I know the VCAs do chain out, so you could use it as a mixer. Um, but one thing I wanted to show is frequency modulation, and that's why I have the BIOSC here. If I go into input one of FM, I'll turn this all the way down, use a sine wave off the BIOSC. As I start turning this up, What we're doing here is really cool. I'm gonna stop this so I could talk for a second. But we are essentially doing frequency modulation, FM. Um, it's always gonna be pretty much the same thing all the time though. Like I, I can turn this knob to adjust the depth. 
which is cool, but if for the most part, I'm not going to be reaching down and doing that. So I can, if I wanted to automate the amount, that's where the carve comes in. And I love this. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that sine wave, run it into channel two, into the VCA. And I am going to take that and run it into the FM input. Again, when I hit play, we're not going to get anything because uh, channel two isn't being triggered. So it's going to sound like our main sound. But if I start looping it, so that's pretty cool. But it's unrelated to the rhythm that we have right now. And if you kind of look at certain popular FM synthesizers, you'll see a lot that they use envelopes because um, they want the sound how it changes in time to be consistent. So what if I have my uh, sequence here also triggered in time? So the gate is going to go into the trigger here. I'm going to stop looping and now and try to match it. So now we'll, we'll, we'll hear that the uh, amount of FM and that timbre is going to be consistent. <laughs> which is pretty cool. At the beginning of the sound, we get a lot of that sort of high harmonic FM sound. Even to the point where we're getting a bit of transient there when it's really short. So that, I really love that. I think that that's really cool because now I can uh, change up the sequence. So now we can have like, essentially we are using just two oscillators, but because we have all this way to manage our modulation, gate it and change the amplitude before it runs into something, we get a lot of new timbres and we got a lot of new tools for rhythm. So when I do this, it sounds pretty cool. But now what we'll see is if I start running the, the pitch in there, you know, FM is really to rely on the relationship between the two different sounds. But in this case, we're just trying to create interesting sounds. So I'll take the volt per octave from channel one, run it in there, and volt per octave from channel two, and run it into uh, our modulator, and we'll see what we get. That's pretty cool. Now let's say we want to do something even more, and maybe, uh, you know, let's see. Let's just take this, this temp tile is running, and it's on channel one and two, we kind of have these randomly, but in time triggers. And I will trigger channel three, and you can see now that that's going. And while that's going, I'll just sweep further the pitch of uh, our oscillator through FM2. I'll actually switch these around because I don't want it. Well, no, actually, I'll keep them there because I can actually uh, take the output and scale it. So. And you can see here, I'm able to really like refine that sound that I'm getting. Like I'm hearing parts where it's really high. I'm hearing that the FM's coming in too much. So I can adjust output here to dial that back in. I can really change those envelopes really fast. So I think it's really neat that we're able to get all those sorts of things really quickly. Um, the last thing I would do is, uh, you know, I know we're doing FM and, you know, maybe we shouldn't be playing with filters, but I do. So who cares? I'm going to trigger channel four to give me a one more envelope so we can sweep that filter. Um, so I'll take my output, run it into my FM here, turn that up. Now we have a, a signal. If I wanted to, I could actually take the signal off of our VCA and double it over. Some of the older synthesizers had one envelope generator that went to the VCA on and filter, but I like to just change them up. So um, I'm triggering channel four, which is our filter envelope. And then I'm going to um, take this and trigger channel one, restoring our patch. So. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Essentially, we have this really small setup. And we have a lot of sound uh, creating capabilities, but also, which is important to me, it's rhythmic. You know, if I wanted to and I didn't need to use any rhythm, I can just loop these and we actually have kind of this sort of really fun, uh, anything can modulate anything patch, but I'm very rhythmic based. And to have a carve that allows me to send in gates to trigger these sort of events rhythmically is super important to me. And then also very experimental. It's a very easy to use interface. So I'm excited to see what y'all do with this. Have a great day. Always feel free to reach out via email, stop in the showroom or give us a call. Happy patching.